Hey guys. This is Robert. And Jessica. With Exploring the Local Life. And today we wanted to talk about Boondocking 101 Electricity. Okay. So, first off, what we want to talk about is once you got your rig, you just got it home from the dealership, what can you actually do if you're boondocking? Yes. And again, for those of you that are just picking up on this, boondocking is when you are camping in your RV without any hookups. No shore power. None of that. You're on your own. It's just you, your truck, and your RV. Yes. So all your RVs, if you have a travel trailer, um, like a camper, or a fifth wheel, you're going to have onboard batteries. Or just a battery. Or just a battery. Mm -hmm. So what does that do for you? So if you have a travel trailer, what will that battery do for you? Well, it's gonna do some very basic things. First off, it is going to power your lights that your RV came with. And that's kind of it. <laughs> yeah. Now, it will supply power for your heater. If you know, have propane heat, uh, it will push that heat through your system if you're in the middle of nowhere and my eyes are burning. <laughs> So what will those batteries or battery do for you? Well, this is what's gonna run. Your RV battery is gonna turn on the lights. That's it, pretty much. Now, of course, if you're cold and you have the heater that you need to run, your propane heater, it will power the propane heater and push that heat out to your RV. It will also accompany your refrigerator. Even your refrigerator, though, if it's a propane fridge, it'll help in combination with the fridge to run. If you have a fifth wheel and it has a full-size domestic refrigerator, you are out of luck. Yeah. And then also if you want to use your water heater while you're boondocking, if you have an electric slash propane one, then you can run it off of your propane as well. But those outlets are going to be completely useless. Mm -hmm. Unless and you do some modifications, buy some uh, 12 volt DC converter charger, uh, you are on your own. Just you with your lights and your propane heat. Yes. And eventually you're going to need to refill those batteries. Like even if you have it, I think we went like, I think we can go like a day using the lights. Oh, and it'll power your fan. Like if you have a fan in your bathroom or in the middle of your um, RV near the kitchen or something like that, mm -hmm. it'll power those things as well. So if you're having a nice breezy day, open up your windows, run the fan, and you've got some air circulating. Okay. So if it's just you, your RV battery, and the bears out there, the only way you're gonna recharge that battery is by hooking it back up to your pickup truck or your car and turning that car on and going through that process of burning more dinosaurs down. Right, so what do you do then if you need more than that or if you're going for more than one night? There are kind of really huh, three options. Um, you can do solar, get mm -hmm. a generator, or do a turbine. We're gonna wind turbine. So we're gonna kick that one out first because it is a possibility, but what I have read in my own research and our research mm -hmm. has been that for the weight of it and the actual setting up of it, how cumbersome it is, it is really not a viable solution. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're in the scene and you're gonna be out there boondocking for a long time in the middle of nowhere, it's a viable situation because you will Might have the well time have to it. yeah you have the time to set it up. You have the time to have it out there, and when the wind blows, it'll charge up your batteries. And in the meantime, you'll be running off those batteries when the wind's not blowing. Absolutely. So if you decide not to go with that, <laughs> you've got your other two options, which are more common, which is your generator and your solar. Mm -hmm. Now, solar is a complex, uh, well, it can be complex for me, it certainly would be, system, but it involves greater expense. Uh, having to decide, is it a fixed uh, solar rig? Is it a movable panel on the ground? Um, how many batteries do you have backing up your solar system so you can use that power that you're gathering all day long? That's right, the more batteries that you have, the more you're gonna be able to store in your batteries for later use. Mm -hmm. Now we're not gonna go into six volt systems, 12 volt systems, because we have no expertise in that fashion. This is still boondocking 101. We are Basics. all learning together. So yes. basically you have a unit that you can buy that's kind of like, like Robert was saying, the kind that uh, you can like set outside of your RV. A briefcase unit. Briefcase unit. You can have like a battery pack that's connected to that and plug in your devices there. That's probably the simplest, maybe the most economic way to start off anyway. And for basic needs like ours, which is just... <laughs> I just sucked up. Oh, off. yeah. That was great. <laughs> He's cleaning the Air Force with that Anyway. Lungs. So some of the basic systems are just to power our cell phones and computers. That's really what we need it for. Uh, it gets into a luxury item when we, when we want to watch television out in the middle of nowhere. And if you want that all wonderful air conditioning if you're in the middle of summer... 
You're yeah. going to need a big whopping solar unit to yeah. do that. Uh, now people say it's not possible. It's possible. It's Anything possible. is possible. If you have enough batteries and enough solar, and enough you money. can, and enough, <laughs> yep, you can have solar powered air conditioning. That's right. Not us. Not us. Not yet. We're not there. And so a lot of people also combine your solar with a generator. Now, if you have a motorhome, you already have an onboard generator. So mm -hmm. this may not even, you might be like, I'm already set. You might be, but you might be thinking about maybe using the generator less. Maybe you want to use solar or something like that. So that's what we're talking about, these other options. But for us, we did decide to go with a generator because it was the simplest thing for us. We bought a unit, it's self-contained. We plug in an RV because it's an RV ready generator and away we go yep nice and easy just to be a little bit heavy sometimes but off we go yeah um, our plan is to continue to research solar and see how we can add that to our rig because yep. we want to have the combination so that way we can use mostly solar energy and then when the sun goes away or the day like today where we don't have a lot of sunlight we can then use the generator as a backup power yep. so 100 percent Okay, so to recap, there's several different options when it comes to electricity. There's more complex systems like wind, um, solar is the next best known, um, and then your generators that you can buy at your uh, local camping world or uh, making sure that you do your research that it's relatively quiet, that it's an inverter generator that won't blow out your electronics. Um, and we've done a video uh, also on generators. Links to the video will be coming up, maybe even right now. And then the link to the blog post will be in the description. Yeah. So feel free to ask us questions and uh, give us any corrections. Again, we are new at this. This is 101, what we've learned. That's when right. it comes to having electricity when you're out in the middle of nowhere. I'd also like to give a shout out to our, our uh, subscribers. Thank you very much for being along with us on this journey. Absolutely. We wouldn't be here without you guys. Thank you to our patrons. Uh, who will support us on Patreon. Uh, it's very generous of y'all. And be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. All the social media things. W we have links all in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye. Hey, guys, it's Jessica. And this is Robert. And we are exploring the local life. Hey. We had this excellent idea to sit by the campfire. <laughs> it's wet, too. It's wet, too. <laughs> it's, it's smoky. Anyway, but that is not why we're here. <laughs> we're here today to talk about our... Uh, what are we here to talk about? We're talking about part of our... Be <laughs> part of our boondocking. <laughs> Get a drink? Oh.